Welcome back everyone to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Today I'll be going through a list of new developments that popped up over the last couple of hours that I thought were interesting. One of them being the official PlayStation Magazine's teaser of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now first off, someone actually found a copy of the Red Dead Redemption 2 Power United magazine. I believe this is a magazine that came out somewhere in Europe, but according to GTA Forums user Ivor, he says some new info mentioned was about deserts and prairies being seen in game, although we kind of already knew that from the trailer. Fishing and hunting is an activity used to gain food and establish relationships with characters. Characters will give you info or treasure maps if you gain their trust or become their friend. You can also ask camp members to come along on a hunting trip or fishing trip. And during minor dialogues, you have different react options. You will always need to pay attention during the conversation. Most of that, I guess we kind of did know, but it is good to just reiterate. The next thing, this is actually super interesting. The official Tokyo Game Show actually revealed its lineup and schedule of the stage events that it's going to show. And in the lineup, one of the events that is going to happen during the PS4 section, Red Dead Redemption 2 included with a trailer. Now, obviously, this could be a new trailer or it could be an old trailer. It could be a trailer of a bunch of old stuff just mixed together to make a new trailer. We don't exactly know. We do know that this Tokyo Game Show starts on the 20th and then doesn't end until the 23rd. So sometime over the course of those days, we will be getting a trailer from that. Now, if it is a new one, it is more likely that Rockstar will also officially announce it on their newswire like they've done with every other trailer. But we might not actually be waiting too much longer to get that next gameplay trailer. And then getting into the official PlayStation Magazine. This is actually from, I believe, the head editor. He says that subscribers to the magazine should be getting it later this week. So I would guess either Thursday or Friday, we will be getting our first screenshots from this magazine. And I will report on that when it does come out. They did, however, release a little teaser. And I got these pictures courtesy of Rockstar Intel. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But it's kind of cool. I'm not going to read over everything. If you guys want to check these out, again, you can go in the description. But... Some of the more interesting parts, they say that Arthur Morgan's outlaw journey will see him traveling through some very varied environments. We've seen glimpses of mountain trails, forests, deserts, and swamplands, as well as a combination of smaller frontier towns and young versions of bigger American cities. Red Dead Redemption 2 is exploring the breadth of what America had to offer before the arrival of European settlers and the taste of freedom that is so inseparable from those early American dreams. Yes, it is an open world and a damn big one at that, where you can follow your own trails wherever they lead. But it's a living world too. Nature still has a big hold on America at this time. So expect to encounter a lot of wildlife native to different regions. Moose, alligators, bears, and of course, wolves. Hunt them down. Morgan even has a sort of a tracker vision, and you can honor every part of the animal. Whack your prey onto your horse, and you can trade meat and hide at towns, or bring it back to Dutch's gang to boost morale. So that sounds really cool. I didn't actually expect moose, even though we might have seen a picture or two with them in it, but it is cool to see uh, some, some bigger animals in the game. It continues, I guess we'll just read through it. You can go on your own way, of course, but Morgan feels like part of something much bigger. And the way you choose to interact with the world has consequences. People will react differently to Morgan depending on the circumstances in which they meet him. Whether that's crossing paths on a lonely track, Morgan coming across someone in a suspicious situation, or you calling them at their house. A whole new interaction system comes into play with you focusing on the character with L2 and always having the option to draw your weapon with R2. Although they do say you better be quick, because if not, you may end up dying. But depending on the situation, you can use the face buttons for different interactions. The stranger riding by, well, you can greet him with the 
square button, it looks like, or antagonize him with the circle button. Being interrogated by a sheriff, maybe try reaching for the square in your holster to defuse this situation rather than your gun. Get in a scuffle, you can hit circle to beat your target, then triangle to threaten them or dismiss them with square. Your horse is your constant companion. As well as hauling around your fresh kills and larger inventory items like big guns, you need to give them a little something back to keep the beastie happy and well-groomed. Doing so, and your trusty sidekick will be much less likely to get scared in horseback encounters, such as shootouts giving you the edge with deft maneuvering. And then combat has been improved dramatically. Even though the, gun, the gunplay in the first game was already pretty stellar, it's the guns themselves that have received a lot of love. With much more realistic recoil and reloads, each weapon feels unique. Of course, Dead Eye slow motion makes a return, and what's a western without a few brawls? Rocking them and socking them feels brutal and solid, meaning your fist can be just as deadly. With such a big game, there's always so much to see and so much more to do. Luckily, our itchy trigger fingers are in for a treat, and we'll be getting a hands-on next issue just ahead of RDR2's release. So like I said, we should be getting that hands-on preview sometime this week. And once that does happen, I will be sure to make a video to give you guys all the details. So thank you all for watching. That is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy, please drop that a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell button so you get a notification when I do upload a future Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Thank you again. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.